Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Jody, how are you, man? Living the dream. Living the dream, absolutely. You crossed the end zone last week. Uh, what, what was that moment like for you, uh, you know, especially given your path here? And I'll have another question after this. Uh, it's definitely surreal. You know, I, I would much rather have a win, but to finally get in the end zone very early in my career, it's, 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 it's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Who has the football? Did you keep it or did you like I definitely it away? It's definitely in my possession. Let's go next to Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Aaron. Hey, congratulations on getting that first touchdown. I want to ask you about new addition Josh Gordon. Maybe uh, I know there's been mentions of him, him comparison to, to Calvin Johnson. Maybe if y'all had a conversation yet and, and what he could possibly bring to the offense. I mean, he's just bringing us another form of a big body and just a, a athletic player. You know, I feel like Veach and Coach Reed and, you know, EB, they do a good job of bringing people in to help, you know, benefit the team. And from what I've seen so far, I mean, dude looks good. Looks good. All right, we're going to take these four and go right down the line, starting with Matt. Go ahead, Matt McMullen. Hey, Jody. I also want to ask you about your touchdown. So it's one thing to make the team, but it's another to earn the trust of the coaching staff. And for Patrick and Coach Reed to go to you on third down at the goal line, that pretty big moment, that shows they have trust in you. What's that mean to you? It means a lot. You know what I'm saying? You, you come to work every day, put your hard hat on, and just grind it out for, for moments like that. Um, I'm praying and I'm praying more opportunities like that present itself where they can lean their hat on 88 and I can go out there and make a play for the benefit of the team. I'm just praying for more opportunities and more results like that. The next is Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Jody. You had mentioned the fact that um, after you made the team, you had more goals, but you weren't ready to share those yet. Uh, I'm guessing the touchdown was on the list, if you could share that, and uh, what, what might be next. Um, I won't share what's next. You just had to see, like, you've seen the touchdown. But, yes, the touchdown was definitely on the list. Stay tuned for whatever else is to follow. Uh, let's go last two. Todd Lebo and then Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Todd. Hey, Jody, you've been around the team for a while, practice squad, in the locker room. Do you feel anything different this week as like a sense of urgency because of where you guys are in the standings right now? Does it feel a little different than, than normally would maybe the first week of October the past couple of years? Um, yeah, I would say it feels a little different. You know, we're standing at one and two with, instead of what we've previously been. You know, everybody's a little bit locked in because we're, we're one and two. That's the reality of it. But, you know, I feel like everybody work ethic, everybody, everything has been amped up a bit. You know, everybody's taking things. All right, it's real for real. So, yeah, there's a little bit more intensity. We'll last to Pete Sweeney. Good, Pete. Thanks, Brad. I'll just one quick follow-up after this. Um, Jody, congrats on the, the touchdown. It's a tight end room of the four of you guys. Um, how would you describe what you individually bring to the table, maybe compared to the other tight ends in the room? Um. I really don't know how to answer that question. I feel like we're all capable of doing the same things. You know, it might be just a little bit more speed to something, but we're all capable of doing the exact same thing. Like you, you could have put anybody in a position in a play that I scored on, and the same thing would have happened with 83, 81, definitely Kels. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything that separates me from the rest of the guys in the room because we're all capable of doing just getting the job done. And then with the ball, you said it's in your possession. What's the what's the plan for the ball? Um, you know, I'm just gonna probably put it in the frame. I ended up probably giving it to my mom or my dad or somebody. You know, who knows? I have it right now, though. <laughs> Jody, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you guys. Take care.